I could do anything that I set my mind to and like I proved that to myself in a way that I never thought that I could. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I am nervous. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. We're going to host a soul cycle class and I'm riding on the podium and I'm just, I'm nervous guys, but let's go do it. Let's go. Half of you are probably like, right on the who now? Podium, which is like the stage at Soul Cycle. It's my first time ever doing it, but I'm hosting a class. So it's kind of like a meet and greet type class for like my followers or subscribers. I'm gonna ride on the podium. Here's my cute outfit. It's from Gymshark. Like the little pattern on it. I can link it down below. We gotta go though. Let's go. I just put in work. <laughs> new bedding alert, new color, same bedding. You guys know I'm a Brooklyn girly till I die. I love Brooklyn. They have the best sheets. You spend a third of your life in your bed. So I feel like it's worth it to invest in the best bedding experience you can. For me, I've been really trying to get into like better sleep hygiene this year, just be sleeping better. Living in a city, I feel like it's chaotic and crazy out there, but when I come back to my cozy abode, I want the best bedding situation I could possibly have. Brooklyn and Sheets are tried and true. They have 100,000 five-star reviews. Currently, I have the Lux Sateen bundle on my bed. So I have the duvet, pillowcases and then I have uh, just like the sheets too. I got it in this gorgeous purpley color. I'll show you guys on the screen what it looks like on the website because you can mix and match. It's really fun. It's kind of like you're like building a bed so you can do a bundle and you could do like a different duvet color than your sheets like whatever you want. I love my Brooklyn and sheets. They are so comfortable. I feel like they wear so well over time. I honestly feel like they get better with every wash. I know that might be dramatic, but I don't think it is. They are totally worth the investment. I feel like if you know someone that's like moving into a new place, it's a great gift idea, or you could just send them the link and be like, hey, I heard about this thing. I think you need it. They have some great in-store options too. You can go check it out in New York if you want. I just like being soft. I like being cozy, but I like not feeling like super hot when I sleep. So I really like these sheets. I feel like they're perfect. Lux Satin, they have like a little bit of like a shimmer to them almost. And when you guys are watching this video, it's currently sleep week. Well, it's technically sleep awareness week. But in honor of Sleep Awareness Week, Brooklinen is doing a sleep week sale. You can count on Brooklinen to be your sleep expert. I feel like we should be getting our seven plus hours a night and this makes it definitely a little bit easier when you have a cute, comfortable bed set up. So the sleep week sale is 20% off all items. This is through March 20th. I would recommend getting one of the hardcore bundle sets. It just makes it easy. Get it all in one and try it all out. And if you get one of the hardcore bundle sets, that'll save you up to 40% since it'll stack the bundle savings with the sale discount. And if you're watching this video after March 20th, you can still get $20 off of purchases over $100 with my code. And my code is BrookeXMichio. So definitely check out the Sleep Week sale. I will leave all of the information in the description below. And if you guys have tried out Brooklyn for yourself, definitely let me know what you think. I've been talking about them for years now. So surely some of you guys must have the sheets. I have the sheets. I have the towels. My actual like duvet insert is Brooklyn in. My pillows are Brooklyn in. Like it's a Brooklyn apartment in here. Okay. I really, really, really love them. Hi guys. I'm wearing the same set as yesterday, but in different colors. I just love it. Except that the other color really showed my sweat yesterday. I looked like I'd been swimming. My hair, I went into the class with it, my hair basically straight. 
came out with it like full curly natural because I sweat that much, but it felt so good. I just wanted to talk and kind of reflect on yesterday a little bit. I've been feeling very emotional for a whole host of reasons, both positive and sort of negative. Just, I got some news before that shook me a little bit, but coming off of yesterday, just feeling so positive. I just feel very, very emotional right now. I think first and foremost, I just want to say how proud I am of myself, I think. And I really want to acknowledge how far I've come in the world of fitness. I've said it time and time again not an athlete i'm not you know i've never really had interest in sports myself i never had that passion i never had that spark i really saw fitness as a thing that i kind of like had to do in high school i started like going to the gym and then in college i gained a little weight so i started doing workout classes and i feel like it was always just something that i was like all right i guess i'm an adult now like i have to work out plugging myself in and really finding soul cycle and finding like the passion that i've had for it has really changed the way that i think about fitness and my kind of journey with it and doing it for so long. I never thought that I would be able to like keep on the bead and add resistance the way that I do. And just, I, I never thought that I would get this to this level and there aren't like levels, but it's more, it's like just a, a mental thing where you kind of feel yourself improving. If you spin, or I guess you can equate it maybe to like running or really just other workout classes too. You know, when you feel yourself just your endurance is improving. And over the past few years of doing Soul Cycle, I really have felt myself doing that and yesterday riding on the podium was kind of just like the pinnacle of like oh my gosh I I did this I did this for myself and I proved even myself wrong you know which is such an amazing feeling to be like wow this is oh my god I'm like I'm crying it's fine um people are probably gonna make this is trivial like you rode a stationary bike on a stage but for me it signifies so many things that are so much larger with the way that I've looked at fitness and just with the way that I've looked at my life I could do anything that I set my mind to and like I proved that to myself in a way that I never thought that I could and I just cannot thank you guys enough if you came out to the class. I got to meet so many of you guys, as you saw, and it really is just a fun time. It's just, we wanna do more of those, Madison and I. She just gets the vibes. I feel like she teaches a class that is both challenging, but you feel really proud of yourself and you feel really accomplished. The way that she teaches her classes, I don't feel like, wow, this is impossibly difficult, or like, I can never achieve it. It feels possible, it feels tangible and i just really appreciate her so we made an incredible playlist um oh i can put a picture of what the playlist looked like on the screen here i have a playlist on spotify called brooks house and i add a lot of like music that i have heard in spin classes or like would like to hear in spin classes on there um more like edm vibes if you're into that but yeah it was just a normal soul cycle class besides that like it, just the normal pace of class and you know i got to meet some people before and after i think some people got to meet you know each other some of my friends came out katie and adam were there and it just was a really really great time and i hope to do more of those sort of community events there is literally no benefit to me like it's not you know if anything i have to ask soul cycle to do this sort of thing and kind of convince them it's not like them asking me by any means i like to do stuff like this to me it's really cool to connect with people in person and it just on all levels i just felt so encouraged in that room like it was just such a positive environment like before i started i like set up my bike on the podium and i was literally shaking all day i was a ball of anxiety literally all day before that because i was just getting so in my head i was like i don't i don't know if i should be doing this and i was just like getting myself so worked up it's a lot of pressure whatever but once i got on the stage and started setting up my bike there was a girl um who was like looking at me and she's like queen like you're gonna crush it she was just giving me the most like um, inspiring words and everybody in the room was but we were like making eye contact and she was just talking to me and i was like wow i feel so grateful this is my community and it just felt like such a safe space and like a safe room and i will never ever ever oh my god i will never take that for granted also i will never take for granted like this has just been like a deeper level thing that i've been thinking about recently just seeing health as so much more than just a physical thing like i used to have the idea of like i gotta work out to you know look a certain way and for me now it's so much more of like a bigger picture thing like working out to obviously feel physically strong to feel mentally strong but also just for your own health because i can you know like there are times in life when you're sick like even when i'm as small as like having the stomach bug and you're like oh darn i can't do anything i can't get out of my bed but as large as like dealing with like larger scale health problems and you almost thinking of working out in a way of like working out for the people who don't have that opportunity. The fact that I'm able to afford to work out like this and you know, I'm able to have the time to do it and work on myself. Like I never take that for granted either. And I feel like that also is 
encouraging and like maybe that's an encouraging way to look at it for you guys. I am really proud of myself and I haven't rewatched it but I made a video like five years ago of going to my first soul cycle class with Gretchen and I was so nervous and I was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna like this and worked myself up so much for that and to see the transformation myself from that version of me to this version of me like that's how I know that I can do anything. I hope that you guys are able to find something that you, you can feel that connected to and like this is not my purpose I don't want to be a spin instructor like that is not my goal I I, I mean I was not an instructor I just rode on the stage I like doing it recreationally I like doing it for fun I I do not need to see it as anything more than that but I think it's good to have personal goals like outside of work stuff and this is like for that for me anyways I'm gonna go spin again. I'm gonna take tomorrow off. This will be my third day in a row. I got asked on TikTok like what how many times a week do I spin and uh, I feel like it's the answer is usually like two to five. It varies. Another really hard thing about riding on the podium is that you have to do everything on your opposite leg so if you because you, you mirror the class so if you're taking the class and they say right leg like you do it on your right leg but if it you know so if you're doing it on the stage it's your left leg and I'm definitely a stronger rider on my l right leg that's just like the foot that I lead with generally I had to ride a good amount of the class on my left leg yeah I'll link this set down below like I said really really cute I'm wearing a medium in the leggings I'm wearing a small in the leggings medium top and then I'm just wearing a Lululemon sports bra today but I really like spinning in like a little crop tee or something because I just feel a little bit more protected like in the videos my boobs are like almost bursting out I'm like oh, god I prefer to spin in like a higher neck shirt, but if I don't do that, then I'll wear like a little tee or something. Who knew? She'd be a fitness girly. Like a tomato. After Soul Cycle, I came home and I've just been rotting. I have plans with my friends tomorrow. I feel like I have like one social plan a weekend now. I'm in that phase of my life. People are like, what are your weekend plans? I'm like, I'm gonna see my friends at some point, I promise. And it always makes me feel better to like get out and socialize and stuff, but finding time to like line up with everybody. Ben has a big test coming up, so he's preparing for that. So I've just been having a chill weekend. I don't know if it's the weather or what. I'm just a sleepy, sleepy girl. I did get sent this new set from Millie Bobby Brown's clothing company. I have the a sweat set from them too that I love. Florence by Mills is the name of the brand. I think it's like, it's probably for like teenagers. I mean, I feel like what, I don't know what her fan base is, but I would assume it's a little bit younger. But the quality of the clothes is really good, I feel like for the price. And I'm just wearing these Heather Gray, like lightweight pants. I feel like they're like a sweatpant and then this like cropped gray tee. I feel like it's like pajamas, but it's not like, okay, time for bed pajamas. It's like, I can still be cute. You guys tell me, where do you like your pants to hit? I just feel more comfortable in a high rise. Low rise, I'm like, ooh, my tummy's out. You guys have probably never even seen my room from this angle now that I think about it. Someone did just comment on one of my videos and say that Carol Lovering, who I've read so many of her books, she wrote um, Tell Me Lies, which was adapted into a Hulu show that I really liked. Are they ever coming back with season two for that? She just came out with a new book called Bye Bye Baby, and I've read pretty much all of her books, and I've needed a book, so... I think I have read maybe all of her books. I read Can't Look Away and Too Good To Be True. One of those like heart friendship necklaces. I'm gonna crack into this. I just watched the Traders finale slash reunion hosted by Andy Cohen. Interesting, I enjoyed it. I'm excited for the next season. I showered and washed my hair. So I feel like that was a big accomplishment. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like doing my hair takes it out of me. Anybody else relate to that? Like when you're sitting there like blow drying it and doing it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm hot. I'm overstimulated, it's loud, I'm tired. I'm just complaining, but it's the weekend and I'm supposed to be relaxing. I'm like halfway through. I've been devouring it. It is fantastic. Um, I just really like her books. I feel like they're thrillers, but they're not like too creepy, scary. They, I mean, they're not really at all. It's more like realistic thrill thrillers. A lot of them are based like in New York or like suburbs of New York. So I feel like I like books like that because I can kind of easily picture it. And it flashes back from like the, these two girls like when they were in high school and then like present time when they're like 35. I just am really enjoying it So I just wanted to shout that out. I actually saw the reviews on it when I downloaded it It like tells you what the Goodreads score is and it was like a 3.9 which it's not bad But it's not particularly good. I feel like a lot of the books I read are like closer to like a 4.2 4.3 and those like points make a difference, you know, I don't know like where where it goes from here But I'm, I was shocked at that rating. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm only halfway through because then it could be a flop. But if you like a 
gossip girl type show that's like a little bit darker themes not like too too dark but like a little bit darker i feel like you would like her writing because i feel like it's real and she like does talk about like real shit but it does have those like glitz and glamour of new york city moments too i hope i'm explaining this right this definitely has some trigger warnings though so check those out i'm getting ready i'm gonna do a little bit of filming and then actually later today in like a few hours i'm meeting up with my friends and we're gonna drive up to the Woodbury Common, which is a like outlet mall, which you might be like, okay, you're going to the outlets. I feel like I grew up like going to the outlets on Long Island and we'd be like, oh, we're going to the outlets today, like whatever. But Woodbury Common is different. They have like designer outlets. People will specifically come to New York like to go there. They're really, really great outlets. And uh, we were just talking about what to do. And we're like, oh, like, we can go to brunch, we can go to dinner, whatever. And I was like, honestly, do you guys like want to go here? Like we can, you know, drive my car, whatever. Some of my friends were like, yes, I need gifts. I could use some warm weather clothes, but I don't want to break the bank. So I was like, this is perfect. Get some inspo for the new season ahead. I haven't been in a while and I'm really looking forward to it. Wearing this cute little set from Aerie. I feel like, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like cover up vibes or like pajamas. I like it though, right? I feel like the button down's giving cover up, but these little shorts are kind of like, almost like boxers and airy prices are just so fair. I feel like this set is really reasonable. I'll leave a link down below. I did an airy haul recently. I worked with them on TikTok and honestly everything that I got, I love and I'm bringing most of it with me on my warm mother trip that I'm going on next week that I need to start packing for. I did kind of start pack, not packing, but like do you guys do this where you're like start to put stuff aside? So I've started a V pile for that trip. Things that I've just accumulated that I'm like, oh, need to put, need to bring this with me, need to bring this with me. Like washed some sweat sets. I was like, you know what? I'll just not wear these until the trip because I need to bring some sweat sets on the trip. Okay, this is gonna be my shopping outfit. Very random, but comfy. These are like a very comfortable pair of jeans for me that I have. They're from Citizens of Humanity, very old, but I just like the fit on them. This shirt I think is nudes, N-U-U-D-S. Aritzia coat, because it's like 50 degrees. Vela sunglasses and then uh, Nike shoes. It's that time of year, daylight savings, but I'll take it. Do you guys change your clocks or do you wait until you're like, oh, the clock is wrong? Because I have a thing, I'm like, I have to change it. It changed technically yesterday, but so I'm one day behind, but that's fine. Hey, hey. My lips are dry, I'm dry, I'm crusty. I feel myself getting a cold. I hear it in my voice. I'm like, that simply won't do. We were sick last week. So I've been pounding the uh, wellness formula. You're supposed to take a few of these when you feel yourself getting sick. So they're in my rotation of vitamins now for the next few days. At the outlets yesterday, I bought only socks. I'm wearing them right now. These are Ritzia socks, three pairs of them. I don't even think they were on sale. I could always use more like calf length socks. They're my favorite for working out and stuff. So happy with that. Also just unboxed an Amazon package that I can show you guys because I'm collecting some travel things um, since I'm going on, I think I said it, a pretty long trip, like a two week trip, LA, Miami, and then I'm going on a cruise. I need to get everything in order for that. So I started getting some like travel essentials because I'm gonna have to figure out how to really efficiently pack. Cause I'm like a, a not really an efficient packer. Like I feel like I don't really pack by the outfits even though I should, but I'm really gonna have to for this to maximize my space. Here are some things that I picked up. I made an Amazon list of my travel essentials. So I'm going to be adding to that, but these are just loofahs. Did you know that you're supposed to change out your loofahs like really often? I figured this out like a year ago or something because they like harbor bacteria and stuff. You're supposed to change them out, I think, every 30 days. That might be like on the more conservative end of it, but got a pack of loofahs, because why not? Stay sanitary. I needed a new gua sha, especially one for travel, so they're like seven bucks. Here for the facial massage of it all. This is a makeup brush holder, but you can also put other like longer toiletries in it. I feel like perfect for makeup brushes because it magnets closed. It's just a way to keep, I feel like my makeup brushes, or you could put like your eyeliners and things like that in here separate from my other makeup because i feel like they just go in the same bag right now and it's kind of a mess then i got these that i could put like shampoo conditioner in i usually bring like travel size shampoo and conditioner but i was thinking for like a deep conditioner or any like specific skincare that i have i can put them in these and i like the colors on them soft and plushy normally i like to just bring like a travel size version of like whatever it is i use that's clearly labeled but for the stuff that i want to like pack you know, a separate version of. Since it's a two week trip, I'm gonna need that sort of stuff. And then I got these bags, which I'm excited about. They are like clear bags. You can kind of see through them. And I thought for outfit planning, this would be fantastic. Like I could write on the outside, LA meetings, Monday, put my outfits inside of them. It could be a good way to like stay organized. So 
they come with a bunch of different sizes too. So like I said, I made an Amazon list, but this is just some of the stuff that I got so far. I had a really nice day with my friends yesterday. Like I said, we went to the outlets. It ended up snowing. <laughs> it was supposed to be like a really nice day. I was like, let's go to the outlets. It'll be a nice day. It snowed and the outlets are not like covered or anything. So it wasn't really the best day to go, but it was a fun way to like get out of the city and hang out with my friends. So I feel very grateful. I just updated that Amazon list. I need to do some emails and some Monday things. I really wish there was a way to schedule texts because this weekend I really wanted to send texts, like I was doing some work, but I didn't want to bombard people on the weekends. And I wish that there was a way to schedule them that it would send on Monday morning or like Tuesday or something so that I can like give people time to get back to it. But there's not. So I just write out, like if I have a text to send to like my manager or something, and I'm like, I don't want to bother him on the weekend because it's not like a pressing matter. I'll just like write it in my notes. Yeah, I just wish that there was a better way to handle that.